Hi, James here and in this video I just want to show you some updates about the shortcut. This is version 16.10.01 and in this version of shortcut there are some extra features and one of it is actually the additional of filters to do lens correction and also a merge filter in editing your timeline. So let me just show you what I mean in shortcut. I have a clip loaded here and it is just a short clip if I just to if I were to play it, you will see this. Okay, so there's nothing much. So let me just show you when I cut the clip or I split the uh, clip over here. And there are several ways you can split it. You can use the tool over here to split the uh, split this clip. Or normally what I do is I just press on the keyboard S key and I split the clip over here. Right, you can see there's a line over here right now. Okay, so sometimes when you are editing and you have created a split and then later on you realize that you don't really need this split shortcut now has this function where you right click on the clip and you can actually merge with the next clip and this split that you have done goes away and it's actually pretty useful when you are editing and maybe you have uh, cut up your clips into many many small pieces and you realize that there are just too many uh, of these uh, small little bits and pieces over there now, this, such a split doesn't make any uh, difference to your clip when you play it. There's no difference. It's just that sometimes when you want to apply filters, uh, then if you have, say, three or four filters applied to this end of the clip, and you, you want to do the same thing, you have to redo that again. By, re by removing the split, right, and merging it with the next clip, then all your filters will actually carry through to the next clip. Now, let me show you another thing. Right, if you have split the clip over here, and let me just split this again over there and I move this end to the back of uh, the clip over here to the timeline and I remove it now these two clips are although they are adjacent to each other they are not the frames are not carried through so if you do that you can't actually do a merge okay there is no merge function if you have rearranged your clips on the timeline in such a way that it is not possible to join up so that would be the first tip on the changes on this shortcut version 16.10.01 so the other thing that is available now is actually filters and let me just add the filter which is a lens collection correction filter there are two one is uh, lens correction over here and then there's also a LUT 3D uh, filter so let me just head on and talk about the lens correction filter All right so uh, over here let me move so the lens correction filter can be used if your camera shot the video and there's some vignetting or your camera have some pin barrel pin cushion so you can actually change it okay by adjusting this as you can see right you can actually adjust the uh, your camera lens and you can actually set it so that you get the effect that you need so these are the two changes in the shortcut version 16.10.01 uh, if you have not tried shortcut head on over and just download the software it is 100 plus uh, megabyte pretty small and this software is actually pretty useful and every month uh, the developer then Danity actually releases new features uh, some bugs and right now it is actually pretty stable for what I've been doing I've been using shortcut for over a year now and I'm very pretty happy about it it is free and one other thing, uh, then NAD has actually brought back the 32-bit version of Shortcut due to demand. So if your computer is using 32-bit uh, software, you can now use it, right? If you have older versions of Windows or your computer is not running a 64-bit, then you can also use that. Uh, however, one caveat is that uh, the 32-bit will, will only be able to use uh, 2 gigabytes of RAM for video editing. So your projects will probably be smaller and you may have been lim some limitations over there. Alright, so thanks for watching this video. This is James with the update on Shortcut. I hope you check it out and if you need more tutorials, uh, head on. I have a course on a Shortcut that explains everything from A to Z, practically from A to Z. Uh, covering basic stuff if you are new to video editing and also covering a little bit more sophisticated stuff like picture in picture, uh, having multi-track editing and also uh, green screening. Alright, so thanks for watching. This is James. Until the next time, remember, do something small today to build a better business.